¿Ese es el nuevo café Holiday Blend de Dunkin'? Ese mismo es. Es que a veces las fiestas hacen que se te antoje un cafecito, ¿sabes? ¿Y qué tiene adentro? ¿Un shot lleno de alegría? ¿O un asistente personal para conseguir el regalo perfecto para toda la familia? De hecho, tiene todo eso. Y unas notas cálidas de melaza y frutas secas. ¡Ah! Disfruta las fiestas con un café Holiday Blend Mediano en Dunkin' por dos dólares. América se mueve con Dunkin'. El precio y la participación pueden variar. Oferta por tiempo limitado. Se aplican exclusiones. So we're here at Marshall's with Liz for some holiday shopping. She's really nailing it this year, isn't she? Oh, yep. She's got a record player for Amy. A gorgeous cozy sweater for Jason. And some hot pink fluffy slippers for her sister. The perfect gift. Wait a sec. <gasps> She's getting a pair for herself. Well, with prices this good, it would be rude not to. You know what? She totally deserves it. Oh, totally. Happy holidays, everyone. See you at Marshall's. Fabulous brand. Feel good prices at, at Marshall's. Marshall's. Hello, friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Waitress gets a note from a widow dining alone, and it has her in tears, written and read by Alyssa Forsberg. One waitress gets a note from a widow after sitting down and talking with her during her shift. What a sweet interaction that had an impact on both women. Megan King is a waitress, and she recently saw an elderly woman at the restaurant that she works at eating by herself. She noticed that she was quietly sitting and seemed to be reflecting on something while eating her meal. That's when Megan decided to take a pause in her busy workday and join the woman at the table. The two talked for a bit before Megan got back to her work duties. She came in about halfway through my 17-hour shift, and it was on Sunday, which is always pretty busy, Megan shared. About halfway through her meal, it started to slow down, so we chatted for a few minutes. Small talk, nothing too deep. She told me she was almost 70, and she just wanted to stop by an old favorite for a bite. Little did Megan know how much that interaction meant to that elderly woman. Before she left, the elderly woman decided to leave Megan a note, sharing how her act of kindness made her feel. Thank you very much for your kind service. This was my first time eating out alone since my husband passed. I was hoping I could get through it, the note read. As soon as Megan saw the handwritten note, she had to fight back tears and went to the restroom to gather herself from the wave of emotions. She took a picture of the sweet note. She also took a picture of her smiling with one tear rolling down her face, and she posted both of the pictures online. This is my real smile because I am very happy and that note did not break my heart at all, she wrote in her caption. This story reminds us that one simple act of kindness can mean so much to one person. You never know what people are going through and sharing a smile or a nice chat Could really make someone's whole day. Let's all go out into the world and try to share God's love with each other each and every day. ¿Ese es el nuevo café Holiday Blend de Dunkin'? Ese mismo es. Es que a veces las fiestas hacen que se te antoje un cafecito, ¿sabes? ¿Y qué tiene adentro? ¿Un shot lleno de alegría? ¿O un asistente personal para conseguir el regalo perfecto para toda la familia? De hecho, tiene todo eso. Y unas notas cálidas de melaza y frutas secas. ¡Ah! Disfruta las fiestas con un café Holiday Blend Mediano en Dunkin' por dos dólares. América se mueve con Dunkin'. El precio y la participación pueden variar. Oferta por tiempo limitado. Se aplican exclusiones. Groom's Brother with Autism gives the best man speech that leaves wedding guests in tears. Written by Mel Johnson. Read by Alyssa Forsberg. When Madison married Jonah Waldron, the groom's brother, who has autism, stood up and gave the most amazing speech at the reception, and there wasn't a dry eye in the place. Weddings are all about love, and usually the focus is on the newlyweds, but the best man speech at Madison and Jonah Waldron's wedding shines the light on the powerful love between two brothers. 23-year-old Sam Waldron has a hard time in social settings like weddings because he has autism. But when he stood up to give the best man's speech, he spoke from the heart. After proudly announcing he was the best man to the best brother, Sam went on to explain that Jonah is his best friend and hero. From the moment the groom's brother starts his speech, you can see Jonah overcome with emotion. He knows just how terrifying social interactions like this are for his little brother. 
so the fact that Sam is speaking to nearly 200 people despite his fear already means so much. But then, the groom's brother pours out his heart and it gets even more emotional. Sam does a great job of mixing humor into his speech, so there is plenty of genuine laughter and cheers. But the laughter mingles with tears as he gives a heartfelt welcome to his new sister-in-law, highlighting all the traits he and his family love about her. Then, as the groom's brother turns the focus of his speech to Jonah, the tears take over for a bit. Sam goes into more detail as to why Jonah is his hero. Growing up as your little brother, you never looked down on me. You lifted me up. You looked out for me. You always remind me that being different is a real strength, not a weakness, Sam said. He continued on with, you were, and are, patient and kind. You love me just as I am. Sam goes on to get several more laughs and then concludes his speech by asking God to bless this beautiful couple. Tears, applause, and whoops of joy follow. Well done, Sam. The bond between these two brothers is truly inspiring. And what the groom's brother has described in his speech is the love of Jesus Christ shining through Jonah. Put on, therefore, as God's elect, holy and beloved, a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving each other. If any man have a complaint against any, even as the Lord forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfectness. Colossians 3, 12-14 Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production. If you're looking to make an impact, there's no better place to do that than the U.S. Army. Whether your goal is to fight and cure deadly diseases, develop technologies, or seek adventure across the globe, the Army is where all of that can happen, and so much more. The Army is a team of a million individuals working together to take on the most complex problems in the nation and the world, and to win. Ask yourself, what's your warrior? And go to GoArmy.com to find out. Find your warrior today. So we're here at Marshall's with Liz for some holiday shopping. She's really nailing it this year, isn't she? Oh, yep. She got a record player for Amy. A gorgeous cozy sweater for Jason. And some hot pink fluffy slippers for her sister. The perfect gift. Wait a sec. <gasps> She's getting a pair for herself. Well, with prices this good, it would be rude not to. You know what? She totally deserves it. Oh, totally. Happy holidays, everyone. See you at Marshall's. Fabulous brands. Feel good prices at, at Marshall's. Marshall's.